perspective. So this video is for everyone who has left Halloween this year till last minute and hasn't got an outfit or is going to party and should bring something and have nothing to bring because I am like the laziest person ever and I leave everything to last minute so for anyone who's like me you might need some help. So I've got a couple of outfits to show you which are really easy to make and throw together and they're really inexpensive and I've also got some form of decoration-y snack thing at the end that you can take to a party or if you're having a party you can take it. Outfit number one is very 90s. If you were a 90s kid you probably had like one of these. I had 75 so I'm, I'm guessing people had a lot. Basically I'm going to dress as a T.Y. beanie, like a Thai beanie I used to call them, Thai beanie, but I think they're actually called T.Y. beanies you know, beanie babies. These are like the easiest things to dress as for Halloween because I'm just using a animal onesie. Everyone has an animal onesie these days, don't they? So outfit number one, all you need is a onesie, preferably an animal onesie, like a teddy bear or a monkey, anything will do. I've got a green and pink cow, <laughs> random. But yeah, and basically you just make the little TY sign and this is dead easy to make obviously if you already have the onesie this outfit literally costs two pound because i went to poundland and bought barbed wire garland which is just this i chose barbed wire not because that's what a tea beanie would have but because it's halloween this 12 sheets of assorted card and that was also a pound so you just have to draw a heart And basically you just cut it out. And then on the back of another piece of card, any colour, it should be white on the back, you just draw the words T, the letters T-Y. So then you just use some print stick or any other glue and glue the letters onto the heart and it should start to be looking like the T.Y. Beanie logo thing. Then really unprofessionally we're just going to stab a hole in it and thread the barbed wire through. It ends up looking like this. Ta-da! Okay so outfit number two is the most lazy, simple, inexpensive Halloween costume you can possibly have. Um, my friend Tom went as it last year so he inspired me to make this and basically all you need is one of the pieces of card or cardboard would probably look better or paper or anything and a pen so it's not costing anything so far. Now you can wear normal clothes because you're a nudist and you're on strike. <laughs> For the third outfit, basically it's the stereotypical Halloween thing of going as a goth when you don't have an outfit. So first of all, I want you to find the gothiest black scary clothes you own. And I'm wearing a hooded little jumper thing which has these cool thumb holes like what you used to wear when you were like in year nine and it's from H&M and I think it costs about six pound I really like it um, I'm also wearing a leather skirt from Forever 21 and it's got these studs on it and then my absolute favorite tights from Primark which have got chains on okay so my makeup is pretty dark anyway but I'm just gonna like over exaggerate it and make it more gothy. I am gonna use this, which I got for a pound from the pound shop again. Okay, so my face is looking very pasty now. It looks like I've been very ill. I'm gonna do my eyebrows in black. I'm just gonna go over my already quite black eyeliner, but make it thicker. Then I'm gonna cat eye it a bit. Now I've got like really black eyes and um, a white face. So I've put like black face paint on this cheek. So it's like grey and I'm going to do the same on this cheek. I'm just using this still. This is the most unprofessional way to do Halloween makeup ever. But, you know. So I can make a line and then. I 
I have some new black eyeliner which I'm going to use my lip. I look really wet. I feel already my concentration phase. Now, after that, we're going to backcomb my hair. Push it forward. Now, this is the most unprofessional way to backcomb, too. It's going to be a nightmare to brush it out. Yeah, you should really use a comb to do this and not a big brush, but life's easier when you just don't care about anything. Look at it. So, yeah. This is like my really easy and quick and cheap way of getting a kind of gothic look. My hair's so big. Yeah. Do I look scary? This is my third outfit. They were my three really easy, simple, inexpensive Halloween costumes if you're running late and just haven't bothered so far this year. Um, um, finally, I just want to show you this um, little decoration-y snack thing I made which you can take to a party or have at your party or whatever so hopefully it'll work all you need is a bowl so again pound world is my best friend so i got that for a pound um and you can fill it up with whatever drink you're having whether it's pop or alcohol whatever and basically i'm gonna make the ice cube but different so let's hope it works i bought some cranberry well, cranberry and raspberry juice and some multi-purpose gloves these are proving to be more difficult than expected because they kind of keep ripping and spilling cranberry juice everywhere but what i'm going to do is pour some cranberry juice into one of these gloves and then you leave it in the freezer and then when you take it out of the freezer you're going to cut the glove off the ice and put it into the bowl and it'll look like a floating bloody hand hopefully let's see if this goes okay Okay, so now we have a glove full of cranberry juice, which isn't quite in the firm yet, but it'll squeeze, it'll be fine. We're going to put it in the freezer until it turns to ice. Then I have these strawberry laces too, so I'm going to put them in to add to the effect. So it'll be like a hand and all like intestines or whatever you want to call it, all floating in the bowl. So we're going to do that now and then I'll show you what it looks like when the hand's in in the end. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have just splashed, just splashed that all over me. I'm so stupid. And then to add to the effect, we can leave some hanging over the bowl like this. <laughs> so much effect. I can't move this bowl on my knee. I'm gonna drop this whole bowl around my room in a second. We all know it's gonna happen. Sounds like I'm on Blue Peter. Here's one I made earlier. So this one's very flat, <laughs> but it might still work. So I'm gonna cut it out of the bag and put it in my bowl and see what it looks like. It seems like a brilliant idea. How do we get? Oh no, his middle finger's fallen off too. <laughs> okay, well that didn't work. So um, basically, this whole ice hand thing is just not happening and. I tried it again and another finger fell off and then it just all crumbled in the bowl so um, it seemed like a good idea at the time and I'm sure other people can do it but for me it's just not working. Excluding the fail at the end, I hope you liked all the outfits and, and they might help you if you're going to party tonight and have nothing to wear. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.